Hi everybody, welcome to today's for sale. Happy Monday everybody. It's already the middle, almost the middle of November. November, okay Kim. January, and these days are just flying on by. So welcome everybody, my name's Kim. I'm purse tripping, <clears throat> and I do all reselling here, I'm pretty much full time. Hello to all my new subscribers, welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay. If anybody is considering making a purchase, please know that all sales are final. I accept PayPal only, so ask all questions before you purchase a bag, you guys, because once you purchase it, it's yours to keep. No exchanges, no returns, and I ship only within the US. Now, all of my items are listed below this video. All you have to do is go to the description box. If it doesn't say description box, then it will say click uh, show more. You're gonna click on that. My bags will drop down <clears throat> and um, you'll have all the prices, how to pay, all of that good stuff. So it is first come first serve. So welcome, hope you enjoy today's sale and let's just go ahead and get started. I'm okay you guys, I'm fine. I do have a couple little health um, issues right now, but don't worry, it's nothing that's not gonna be taken care of over time. Um, we'll get into that another day, but this is positive. This is Positivity Channel. I'm not getting into medical and all that stuff because I'm fine. I'm fine, you guys. <clears throat> okay, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. Let's show you the bag. This is so fun and a very expensive bag, may I add. Um, it is Tibetan lamb, genuine Tibetan lamb, little hobo in black. So this is real lamb's wool. I'm going to try to get as many comments as I can. Oh, awesome, Gina. I'm so happy. Tara, just devastating news. Your baby brother passed away. And I'm so sorry. I'm sorry to hear that, Tara. I'm so sorry. Prayers to you, Tara. Okay, so this is a Tibetan lamb hobo, genuine lamb fur. This is leather on the front, and it does have little rhinestones and brass studs, leather shoulder strap, excellent new condition. And how fun is this little guy? Let me show you it on. Super cute, extremely lightweight. So you just, there's the little name tag. I'll tell you the name in just a second. And this is by, <clears throat> it looks like it says Cochinelle or Cochinelle, something like that. I know it is way too cute, right? Super, super cute. Um, it's C-O-C-C-I-N-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And then it does have a zipper pocket on the inside. Brand new, excellent condition, Tibetan lamb hobo. Excellent, excellent condition. Okay. Get my glasses here. Got my glasses. All right, this was an amazing find. This is an excellent brand new condition. Michael Kors black pebbled leather with little micro studs all around the entire bag. <clears throat> Chain handles. Silver, in case you can't tell. Have I heard of Isaac Mizrahi? Yes, uh -huh. lots of times. <clears throat> Zipper top closure, but you also have a snap pocket here and another magnetic snap pocket here and then your main compartment is a zipper but first I'll try it on for you it is a medium sized tote says Michael Kors right here <clears throat> and then inside. I don't think this bag's ever been used, you guys, at all. It is in completely excellent condition inside and out. 
There's your little key lanyard. Well, Pamela, you don't see prices because they're not listed yet. I explained that in the beginning of my video. All prices are listed after my video is over in the description box. Okay. <clears throat> Here is the bottom. So this is an amazing Michael Kors tote bag. Everything is perfect condition. And if you like, I have a wallet that I will be listing alongside with it. These are separate. And uh, this is a little micro stud wristlet wallet by Michael Kors. I think it goes great with this bag. I think it looks super cute with it. <clears throat> oh, no problem, Pamela. I usually have to explain it five or six times before the video is over. Not a big deal. So this is Michael Kors as well. Brand new, excellent condition. Zipper pocket. And it's just an adorable set. Um, I won't list it as a set. I'm gonna list them separately in case you don't want one or the other. But that's my Michael Kors. <clears throat> I had lots and lots of interest in this bag here. So I'm putting this one up today too. This is not Patricia Nash. It's actually, it doesn't have a name. Um, it is genuine leather embossed tote style and it's a larger tote embossed on both sides. It's got rolled leather handles. Okay, and then it has, um, there are a little bit of wear on the edges here, like there, just around the edges, which completely gives it character for this rustic type Western boho bag. That's just the way, you know, that's just the way it is. So if you're not into signs of wear, like the um, natural veining, scratches, spots, then this is not the bag for you because it definitely has its signs of wear and it's gorgeous. Here's what it looks like on. So it's pretty good size. Pretty good size bag, nice strap drop. And it does have um, <clears throat> two zippers. Do I have a small coach? I'm sure I do somewhere. Look how big this opens up. So you're definitely gonna be able to see all of your stuff inside this beauty. Really cute interior. So lots of people have commented they're interested but it's still available, so if you're interested, it will be listed below this video as soon as I'm done with the live. So pretty. Okay, let's do this. This is a vintage. I wanted to bring out a vintage bag. This is a Mark Cross Vintage Beautiful. Mark Cross. Uh, Vaquetta type leather with a chocolate brown leather trim. <clears throat> There's the back. It's in gorgeous condition. This is from the early 70s. It opens up like so. And you're also, the inside is all suede with the zipper pocket. Okay, and then here is your little reader's case or whatever you'd like to put in there. I would say this is probably for your little reader's matching glasses case. And it's got the shoulder strap for comfort. And it's in beautiful condition. This is a zipper right there and then you have it's two pockets and then a zipper pocket and your little matching case so this is mark cross <clears throat> okay all right um i had a question here oh uh, let's see let's see what does a little white tag say in the tool bag um
made in Paraguay. It says made in Paraguay. Okay, I have this coach. No longer produced. Mini signature crossbody in brown jacquard leather. It's got suede on the bottom, zipper pocket on the back, silver hardware. You can also undo these straps and you can make it like a, a length kind of like that if you wanted to wear it more of a shoulder bag or you've got an adjustable crossbody. <clears throat> the inside looks brand new other than a little bit of jibbles of paper. There's the hang tag. And this is the size of the crossbody. So it's pretty big. And it's in beautiful, really, really nice condition. Okay. Let's see, what do we wanna do next? Let's do the carpet bag that I saw people, a couple people were interested when I hauled it. So we're gonna go ahead and show you that one. So this is a carpet bag and it's kind of like the Fendi style, but it's large. It's a large carpet bag. Shoulder bag. <clears throat> Got all the neat colors in it. Excellent brand new condition. Super lightweight. It's got the little tab and the flap and the inside papers out. Okay, so this bag is in a language that I do not know. This bag is made in Canada, yet <clears throat> it says it's made in Canada, yet I believe it to be an Arabic, an Arabic name. Arabic? Arabic, however you say that. But it's made in Canada. So, there you have that. It does have the slip pocket and then this very large interior when you open your bag up you can see everything perfectly okay so this is i'm just going to call it the carpet bag because i honestly do not know how to pronounce that never seen it before when i used google lens it didn't bring anything up so there's that one i decided to go ahead and offer up my Hobo International gray patent leather with the black kiss lock style closure that's actually magnetic snap. This is a medium sized little tote. French Canadian, is that what it is? Oh, okay. I had no idea, but that's pretty darn cool. French Canadian, okay. So look. It's magnetic. It looks like a kiss lock, but it's magnetic. And then the inside is all polka dots. It says hobo right there. And this is, it does have a little bit of, um, looks like maybe blush right there. It needs to be wiped off. That's a little zipper. And then you have a slip pocket over here. These comments are coming in quick. <clears throat> okay and look at this it just magnetic snaps watch see so it's a no hassle magnetic snap it's got gold o-rings and it's in excellent condition on the outside super pretty hobo genuine patent leather all right Here's another expensive bag. This is by B-O-L-O. -O. Look at this beauty. All leather tote. B-O-L-O. -O. There's a zipper pocket back here. Nice, really nice size uh, pocket on the back. This is a pocket on the front. Look at the leather on this one. It's like a variegated leather, it's beautiful. 
and it's stamped right here, the name. Okay, let's show you it on. A large tote, but not huge. It's large, but not huge. Magnetic snap closure. And then there's two foot pockets. Nope, you didn't miss it. Hello, Jessica. Here is the center zip. Yeah, it does. It's like exactly like a fry. It really is. It really is. Okay, so B-O-L-O. -O, genuine leather tote. <clears throat> All right, let's do this Ted Baker. Ted Baker tote. And you can barely see it. There you go. And it's on the front and the back. It's a gray material and it has the matching clutch that also shows Ted Baker. Wristlet clutch. Just slips right in there and um, it's a nice big open tote, nice and light on the inside so you can see all your stuff. It's structured and it fits perfect. Okay, so that's my Ted Baker tote. Do I have any questions, you guys? Any questions yet? I don't say anything. Okay, then let's do this beautiful, no longer produced coach. <clears throat> this one's gorgeous. Hello, Susie. Yes, the Ted Baker is a very light gray. Silver hardware, whip stitch around the front pocket, large front pocket at that. Yes, Bally's a very good bag. It's very good. Let's see. No, it's not B-O-C. It says right there, B-O-L-O. -O. It's not B-O-C. Okay, so then this is a nice large domed satchel in a tote style. I know this coach is gorgeous and it's vintage and it's in perfect condition. I was wondering if you have any videos on how you clean them, reshape them, etc., or do you know any good videos? Uh, my answer is no to both of those. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just do, I just clean and, and reshape depending on the bag, depending on the material, and as far as good videos on it, I don't, I personally, you guys, I don't trust any cleaning videos on YouTube because what they're showing could completely ruin your bag. So I just wing it myself and I've ruined bags and I thank God that I never you know, said, hey, this is how you do it because you would have ruined your bags too. So I absolutely refuse to do cleaning videos, any type of restoration, because the worst thing for me to do would to give you the wrong information and then you just ruin one of your beloved bags. And I don't want to do that. Nor will I ever say, hey, you should watch this person's, person's video. I do know somebody who does lots of cleaning rehab videos but I'm not gonna give you that person because it could still ruin your video or your bag because I actually did try one of his experiences on one of mine and I had to throw the wallet away. So I'm not, I'm just, I'm not going to, I'm not gonna do that, that's why. 
<clears throat> you tried to wash a suede bag. Oh boy, yeah. See, that's what I mean. And um, I sold a, a Gucci suede bag that was completely vintage and basically a wreck. And so the person who bought it from me had to sit one bought it from me knowing that, and she sent it into a professional spa. That's the only way I suggest. If sending it into a professional spa, don't try it yourself unless you're willing to just have it like a guinea pig bag where you just, you know, you don't care if you ruin it. Am I going to show the homemade crochet bag? Sure, I can do that, but I'm not selling it because um, my heart broke when I found it and I'm keeping it because somebody put way, way, way a lot of time and effort. Where is it? I'll show it. I'll find it and I'll show it. But no, I'm not going to sell that one. Um, sometimes I know I'm weird, but <clears throat> you know how animals touch your heart? Sometimes bags do on me because somebody put a lot of blood, sweat, and tear and thought into it. And I'm like, I'm not about to let that go sitting here on a thrift store shelf. No way, you know. But if you want to see it, I will show it to you. I'm just, I'm not going to sell it. Okay. So, super large compartment, uh, super large bag. And beautiful. Coach. Coach Whip Stitch. Um, and here's another beauty. This, <clears throat> if you watched my Lucky Color of the Year video, and some of you were like, well, what's, considered dark brown and I thought well this is definitely dark brown <clears throat> okay this is definitely a dark brown but this is a super dark brown so if you're needing that lucky bag for your dark chocolate color this is perfect it's a beautiful super super soft soft leather and Louise ounces probably four ounces maybe it's got the pretty knot at the top it's hobo style, way, way smushy and soft. And by the, oh, I wanted to tell you the person who said it was a Bach bag, the BOC bags are vegan leather. They're not real leather. Just so you know that for further reference. Um, this is by P-A-O-L-A, -A, Fiorenz, genuine leather, I'm assuming it's made in Italy because most names like that are. So it's got the zipper pocket and then it's got your slip pocket over here. It's a chocolate satin interior and it's just a be little beauty. So this is my dark chocolate, dark chocolate lusciousness leather bag. Okay, so you, somebody wanted to see my <clears throat> crochet bag over here somewhere. I'm not seeing it at the moment. It's over here. Oh, here it is. Oi. So this is the crochet bag that she was talking about. And um, it's just beautiful. Somebody put a lot of time and effort into it and it's all wonky right now because I've got the lining in wrong. So this is it. It's got the pretty little buttons, wooden buttons. It's gorgeous. I love it. And I'm going to keep it because that's how I am when it comes to stuff like this. Okay, so now that we've done those, would you like to see a certain wallet or a certain handbag that I might have that I might be able to pull for you? I know, it's gorgeous. I love it. Love the buttons. So cute. <clears throat> yes, Kristen, it is. It's like all my favorites in there. Guess who's going to the groomers tomorrow? A wallet. Okay, um, let's do, let's see, that one's already sold. A red dooney? I don't have a red dooney. So let's do a red wallet. Let's mix those two together. Small purses? I have tons of small purses. Tons and tons of small purses. Any mini wallets? Tons of mini wallets. <laughs> I need to do just a wallet sale. Maybe we'll just do a wallet sale tomorrow. 
I'm looking at all my, got lots of new inventory. Lots of black wallets that have money slots. Yes, I surely do. I'm trying to get this unattached here. Let's do this wallet. <clears throat> okay, I'll do this wallet and then I'll do the Perlina and then I'll be done. The sack sold. So here's this beautiful wallet by, it's Genuine Leather by Valencia. Um, designed in Holland. So it's still attached to the box. It's got a zipper pocket on the back. And then you open it like this. Tons of credit card slots, another zipper pocket, a wristlet strap you can detach if you like. Great magnetic snap closure. And it is by Vincia. And it's a definite, uh, it's like a dark burgundy red. Let's see if I can get the real color on here. There you go. That's the real color right there. It's amazing how the light washes stuff out. <clears throat> okay, so that's the Valencia wallet. And then somebody wanted to see my Perlina crossbody. No problem. Let me find that one. It's around over here. Where are you at? Here it is. Perlina is a very beautiful brand leather. Um, it's up there in price for sure. Finding a Perlina crossbody is a very rare thing. Um, they usually are more of a baguette style, but this leather is amazing. It has a little Perlina zipper pull on the side pocket. And it's got the, this actually looks like a bracelet um, what is this? So this is the signature brand by Perlina. Yes, this bag is for sale. If you're talking about the Perlina, yes, it is for sale. Feet on the bottom, Perlina label right here. Unsnap, drawstring closure, opens up. The inside is also leather. <clears throat> Here's the pocket, the zipper pocket. I think the zipper pocket on this. Okay, so if you're able to do repair, great. If not, there's no zipper pull on this pocket. That's the only thing wrong with the bag. So if that is a big problem for you, please don't purchase it because the zipper pull is not available, but the pocket is still very usable. Okay, Stacy, if you would like to purchase it, it's going to be listed under this video as soon as the video is over. I'm going to, it takes me about 10 minutes, I think, something like that, right guys? 10 minutes or something like that to get everything listed. So refresh and everything will be listed on how to pay. Um, it's nice because the strap is like wide and then it narrows at the top. And then there's the back. Okay guys, so we're gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna end this video and I'm gonna go list everything for you. Sure, the interior of the bolo, no problem. So you've got two leather lined uh, pockets right here. Then this, there's a center zip pocket with what is that? Paper. Little pieces of paper in there. And then you also have this pocket with a large center or a large sidewall zip. And then the magnetic snap closure. Do I use the same YouTube platform, YouTube platform for when you shop? Yeah, I do everything right here on my channel.
everything, my, my hauls, my sales. I don't have an eBay, I don't have a Depop, I don't have a Mercari. Everything that you see is sold right here. <clears throat> um, I do have an additional YouTube channel, but that's only for uh, emergencies. If I need it for an emergency, I don't post over there unless I have to. No problem, Kristen. I appreciate you so much, my friend. You helped me out so much over here. The fossil from yesterday. That sold. That one is sold. So, so you guys, when I have hauls, I've, I've um, told everybody that if I haul something and I don't list it, if it's something you really want, you can contact me on Instagram. That's how I've sold a lot of things lately. Um... It just, it, it depends on my day and my other work schedule. So this isn't my only job. You waited and waited. She never posted prices on her purses in the video with large leather, tool bag, leather, fossil bag. Okay, sorry, Pamela. Let's see, Stacy, your PayPal name, uh, my PayPal name be on there when you put up the prices. Yes, it sure will. Exactly how to pay what's available, what's sold, um, restrictions, all that stuff. And I'm not sure what you mean by I never listed prices. If I've had a live sale like this, going live, there's always prices listed, so I don't know how to help you with that. Why are you breathing so heavy, monkey? Um, sometimes I do hauls in my car and I don't list the prices I'll just wait to do it on a live sale. Maybe that's what you're talking about. If that's the case, that's very possible. I gotta show you my slippers. I show you my slippers. <sighs> Oops. Yes, I love chickens. <clears throat> okay, I missed, especially you will pay through, oh, essentially you'll pay through PayPal. Okay, that's my Kristen girl. Yeah, exactly, what Kristen, what Kristen said. Will your PayPal name be on there when you, it actually, believe it says that chicken purse chick, which is my old YouTube name. Um, somebody wants to see a small purse, so I'm going to grab out a, grab out a small one real quick. I'll show this beautiful little Kate Spade bucket. You better believe I love it. If it's got fur or feathers, I love it. Here's a small little bag, adorable little Kate Spade bucket bag in mint green pebbled leather. Somebody needs this because I want it, so somebody needs this. Um, this bag is no longer produced. It's adorable little crossbody. <clears throat> okay, and then you just pull this open here. And it's a roomy little booger. There's a little slip pocket and there's the inside. So adorable, little mint green, so cute, Kate Spade. Love the leather on this one, it's so pretty. It says Kate Spade right here as well. Can you guys see that? I have lots of backpacks, but I'd be here all day, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. Stay humble, stay kind. Everything will be listed below this video. Hope you guys found something. If you didn't, no problem. Thank you so much for joining me anyways. Thank you so much for actually asking me questions on the bag so I can show them to you in case you decide to purchase them. You know what you're getting. And uh, Kimberly, you can use a debit card through PayPal. Uh, okay. Yeah, you guys, could you give me a thumbs up on the little the little icon? Not not the emoji thumbs up, but actually little icon. Click on that. Give me a thumbs up. I would love that so much. Thank you, Pamela. I'm sorry uh, you were disappointed in one of the sales. Hopefully, you'll find something you like another day. I want to thank everybody else for coming by. 
Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Bye, everybody.